It stopped a lot of people in their tracks. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Nicole Brewer. Jessica Dean has the night off. Now, the epicenter of the quake was about six miles northeast of Dover, Delaware, but the shaking extended far beyond that. We have live team coverage tonight. Let's start with David Spunt. He's in Smyrna, Kent County. David. Hi, Yuki. I'm standing right now about 500 feet from the epicenter of the earthquake. Behind me is the Bombay Hook Wildlife Refuge. It's closed now. A lot of marshland around here on the Delaware Bay, but this is where it all happened this afternoon at 447 p.m. The whole house just started shaking. Linda Dempsey and her husband Joe live just feet from the epicenter of Thursday's Delaware earthquake. We're just looking at each other like oh man, we thought maybe a big plane from Dover Air Force Base had come down. A few miles away in Dover, restaurant owner Diana Welch was getting ready for a busy night inside the Gray Fox Grill when at 4.47 p.m. things took a bizarre turn. It was very brief, but it was very intense, so we knew it wasn't a semi. It was a little different than like a normal semi driving by. This surveillance video shows people relaxing at the bar when the 4.1 magnitude quake hit. You can see heads turn before everyone quickly left. Dover residents say the shaking lasted maybe eight to ten seconds. I looked around at my coworkers and everyone was just wide eyed and um, we all went outside because we thought something might have hit the building. Officials with the U.S. Geological Survey originally classified the quake as a 5.1, then downgraded it to a 4.4 before settling at a 4.1. Officials say it originated about five miles below Earth's surface, but those numbers don't matter to those who experienced a rare Delaware earthquake. I thought it was really cool just to be able to experience it because I've never experienced one. Obviously, I'm very thankful that it was minor. Um, so I, it was just like, wow, did anyone else just feel that? Millions felt this all over the East Coast. No serious damage reported at this time. 1871, Yuki and Nicole, that was the biggest earthquake in Delaware history. What happened just a few hours ago tied that record, according to officials. Reporting live from Smyrna at the site of the epicenter, David Spunt, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. David, thank you for that. As is the case with earthquakes, it struck without warning. Tonight, scientists are weighing in on the tremor that shook the Delaware Valley. Eyewitness News reporter Alexandra Hoff joins us now from Northeast Philadelphia with more on the science behind it all. Alex? Yeah, Yuki, we spoke with Derek Pitts with the Franklin Institute this evening, and he said it's not even necessarily completely rare for earthquakes to happen in this part of the country. The rare part is when we feel them at all, at all. and obviously not everybody did feel this, myself included, but it all depended on where you were. I was walking down the street. I could have assumed it was a bus rumbling by. Others said they thought it might have been a subway passing by their home, but plenty of others in the Philadelphia area knew exactly what they felt. Tayana Towner of Northeast Philadelphia was in the middle of softball practice. We felt a shake, so we like stopped. And then my friend Mia, she was like, did you feel that? And I was like, yeah. I thought my neighbor was jumping up and down on the floor. So you were probably ready to be mad at them. And then when yeah. did you realize it was something else? Uh, when I heard it on the news. The tremors of this earthquake were fill, felt around a very wide area uh, all the way up here into Philadelphia for sure. Derek Pitts, chief astronomer at the Franklin Institute, says that there's a good reason why smaller East Coast earthquakes are often felt by a large geographical region. The bedrock that underlies all, all the soil here extends up and down the East Coast a fair degree, and so uh, any kind of vibration of this kind of magnitude that occurs in that bedrock can be felt up and down the East Coast. This group of friends experienced the sway together. I lived in Lower Moreland, and we felt it from, uh, from over there. They happen here every few years or so on average, and they typically tend to be around this uh, magnitude 4 range. Uh, for us, that's an intense earthquake, but on the grand scale of earthquakes, it's not very intense at all. Of course, this epicenter of this earthquake was in Delaware, but reports of it being felt extended all the way up to New England. Now, Derek Pitts also added that he didn't expect us to have any kind of aftershock activity, but even if we did, he said it would be highly unlikely for any of us to be able to feel it. Reporting live in Northeast Philadelphia, Alexandra Hoff, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Alex, thank you. And meteorologist Kate Bilo has been looking at the effects of the earthquake. And Kate, uh, just how far the tremors were felt. 
That's right, Nicole, and it was a large area that felt these tremors. That's due to the bedrock, the nature of the bedrock in our region. It's very extensive, kind of very flat, and a very kind of the, the rock doesn't break up quite as much as you see out west, so you don't have all those fault lines, so these waves can travel through the bedrock up through portions of Delaware into Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and certainly back into Maryland as well. This was felt all across really the mid-Atlantic region from portions of the nation's capital on up into New England, as I'll show you in just a moment. Recapping the stats on this earthquake, a magnitude 4.1 quake. Again, that ties the record for the strongest earthquake ever in Delaware. It was a depth of five miles. That sounds deep, but in the grand scheme of things, when you're talking about earthquakes, five miles is actually regarded as a shallow quake. And that means, again, the shaking is felt even farther because instead of going down, it goes out and spreads out across a large region. It was felt near the city within seconds. A moderately intense quake, as Derek Pitts mentioned, for our region. These are uncommon, but they do happen. Not as common as they are out west, where the fault lines and the tectonic plates are a little more pronounced, but we do get these kind of earthquakes in our region. Usually they're not quite strong enough for us to feel. The strongest shaking felt right around the epicenter. The waves traveled up toward Philadelphia, and you can see on this map from the U.S. Geological Survey up into New England, even as far north as Stamford, Connecticut, they had a report of perceived shaking from this quake. Coming up, I'll have your weekend forecast, but for now, Nicole, back over to you. All right, Kate, thank you. And this is not the first time we have felt an earthquake here in our area. Back in August 2011, a magnitude 5.8 earthquake shook most of the East Coast, including Philadelphia. Now, that earthquake was centered northwest of Richmond, Virginia. It actually forced buildings in Center City to be evacuated and shattered some windows on high-rise buildings.